Yeah. For how long? Yeah. Uh, it should. This one should last to uh, one point two gram, about ten to fifteen second. Normally, it's like this. Yeah. Uh, but this is on the uh, traditional way. You have no pump pressure control. So it will be like this. So, is that possible you want to keep the pressure profile like that? Is that possible? So, if you want to keep it, what do you have to do? Hey, I hear something who say increase pressure. <laughs> yes, then this is where pressure profile come in. So pressure profile can let you stable the pressure, not drop. <laughs> so you can adjust increase pressure, reduce pressure to keep all this uh, pressure, coffee pressure more stable. But also, in the same thing, if you push the pressure higher, this espresso flow will increase faster. Okay, now coffee tasting time. So I want you to compare. So Kim will make coffee now. So you can have a five minute break. Five minutes and anything you want to ask, you can ask. So we will tasting four shots of espresso. I want you to compare one thing about the acidity, sweetness, bitterness, body. Yeah, four things of the shot, how they change. We are talking about intensity only. We don't talk about quality today. Yeah. High or low. Yeah. And bitterness, uh, pay attention here. Bitterness is about the aftertaste. We focus on this. Aftertaste means like you eat medicine, you feel bitter here. Stay long. So there is a four profile. Uh, first thing, night bar, not change anything. We brew standard, same grind size. We are not changing grind size, so we change pressure profile. So the first shot, night bar. Second shot, six bar, which is the modern way 
of extraction today, specialty coffee, they like to lower down the pressure. So we try the standard six bar, not change. And then we have the pre-infusion, the classic way of uh, three bar pre-infusion until uh, extraction start, we go to nine bar, brew to the end. And one more is pre-infusion start until extraction happen, go to six bar. So we try this four profile. Kim, Kim, Kim. Nine bar first. Yep. Yeah. From short to short, if you want to clean your palate, so we have some soda and milk here. And milk also can. Yeah. Or you can go to Kim there to pick up your espresso. <laughs> I also show you how is the profile of the night bar came brewing now. So this is the pump night bar coffee pressure increase like this and your espresso flow like this. Yeah. So the first coffee you are tasting is uh, dark rose. Medium dark rose, robusta, uh, robusta dark luck blend, Colombia.
right angle. Hmm? Yeah, quite say notch him. Yeah, no, it's okay. Just keep it consistent only. Yeah, they can use this group head also, man. Huh? Uh, different. Uh. Okay. What the? Uh, no, no, no. Mm, okay, okay. Huh? What happened? So this is flow rate about six. Yeah, six per second. They will drop to three, yeah. One point something, okay. <laughs> uh, first group of four four profile like this. Um, we try medium dark rose. And then we try another group, medium light rose, Ethiopia, with same profile again. No, four shot, four shot. Yeah. In total today you will drink everyone will drink sixteen shot. <laughs> you tasting, you don't need to finish. You taste. So, how many people still not taste yet? Taste already? Not yet? Okay, so still here. Uh. Taste already? Okay, I think after this, then everyone have already. Uh. After this one, yeah. So the next shot, the flow will look like this, six bar. The pump limit the coffee pressure. So now six bar. 
Next. So the next profile will look like this, like in the screen. The maximum of the pressure go up is only 6 bar and they will start to decline, mean they will go down. But you see, I know, I know. So let's see the difference of 9 bar and 6 bar. Look at the water through coffee flow rate. You can see the flow rate here with the 9 bar. Okay. With the grind side not change. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So start from now is six bar, so you compare the coffee. Yeah. Like this. Ah, okay, then three more. This, this thing is because of uh, lacking of resistance. Not enough pressure to resist so the water will flow faster. Yes. Do we consider crema in the modern espresso? Okay. Uh, anyone here try to eat the crema separate with the coffee liquid? Anyone here try before? You try before? Maybe. Uh, how do you feel the taste of crema? More sour, more bitter. Yes. Actually, crema tastes a bit awful. <laughs> Not delicious. Oily. Yeah, it's oil. It's uh, coffee fine on the top. Yeah, it's fat. Uh, there is some aroma, but because there's a lot of fat and fine, so you will feel that uh, it's uh, quite uh, sharp. Mm. Especially your coffee have acidity. You will feel sour and bitter on the crema. You don't feel sweetness. Mm. Huh. No, he asked about crema how if modern espresso the no crema or something so i asked them anyone here eat the crema separate with coffee mm. so he tried before and he said not good <laughs> yeah. so actually if you have a single origin espresso you filter the crema you only taste the coffee in the bottom the flavor are more clear than you drink together with the crema Maybe the body is lower, but the flavor are more clear. Six down, right? Okay. Okay, so this profile now coming. <laughs>